everybody. Welcome to Technique Tuesday here at A Cherry on Top. I'm going to show you all the products we're going to use today. This is the new Honey Bee Hugs and Kisses 6x6 six six paper pad. So these, this 6x6 six six pad was used in my finished cards, which are in the photos at the end. This is another new product, Inside and Out Thanks from Altenew, which is also... Uh, which I also use to make the cards that you see at the end. We have the simple story six by six stamp or stencil, not stamp. This stencil is called Floral Heart. It's so pretty. And then the main attraction. So for Technique Tuesday, we are playing with gel presses. I have a six by six gel press. I actually have a couple gel presses, but we're gonna use my six by six one today. And we're gonna make some papers. I also have this Bob Ross fan brush, which is fabulous. We're gonna be using that. I'm gonna be using a bit of Liquitex titanium white heavy duty acrylic paint, a brayer, which is essential. I will be using some of that gorgeous Sizzix Glitter Glaze that I got in my Cherry Box for January. We're going to use It's a Boy, Grass Skirt, and Lime Ricky inks. They match that 6x6 paper pad. We're also going to use Coral Cabana, Cranberry Fizz, and Orange Peel ink. These are all Catherine Puller inks. Uh, and I have here some thick hot press watercolor paper cut down to six by six so we can pull prints. We're gonna pull four prints. I have my favorite embossing powders and my favorite embossing ink because when I'm all finished with these prints, at the end, you're gonna see that I used that to create some cards. So what I have here in this video, oh, this, we have to talk about this water bottle. So that purple water bottle does not contain water. It contains isopropyl rubbing alcohol because that is how you clean your stencil. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get started layering up these inks. So the orange peel, cranberry frizz, and coral cabana, those are the inks that I used primarily because once you ink up a gel press, um, you just kind of keep layering colors on top of it. And since you do that, you can pull so many different kinds of prints, so many different combinations of the same three colors. So I'm gonna pull three prints from these colors. Um, and then I didn't have to clean my gel press in between. Like you don't clean your gel press in between prints. No, 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 because that's, you need, you need to do, you just don't. <laughs> so I only wanted to clean my gel press twice. So I pulled three with those three colors. Then I cleaned my gel press and we're gonna pull one with the greens and the blues. Don't waste your ink. So after I had gotten a base of gel, of ink on my gel press. I grabbed my brayer. I had some scrap papers off to the side and I'm going to put all of that ink onto the brayer. And then you end up with these gorgeous colored, um, like almost like, it looks like almost like a color wash strip. I love that look. We are definitely going to be using those pieces in an upcoming project. Okay. So let's talk about white acrylic paint. I am the biggest fan of white acrylic paint. You guys don't even know. If you go over to my YouTube channel, I have a whole series for my members only. Um, so it's a subscription. You pay like $2.99 a month for extra videos. But I'm doing this whole series on how you can only use white paint in your scrapbooking and how amazing it is. I love white paint. So I totally just grabbed my Aquafina bottle there and just added some water to my white paint. I didn't do anything like special. I used a little palette knife, mixed it up till I got it to the right consistency. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but we have orange peel ink on our gel press. Just 
sop up some of that extra water. I did, ha I did have a mini mister with water. I had a mini mister with water sitting beside me. Don't ask. I'm gonna use my brayer and get some of that white paint onto my brayer. It's also gonna mix a little with the orange, but for the most part, we're just using the white paint. I'm gonna take the brayer and I'm gonna just pop that paint along the edges. Now, this is white paint is going to show up through multiple prints. So just keep that in mind. I'm not cleaning my gel print in between. So our this white paint is going to be on multiple prints. I love the way white acrylic paint reacts with the Catherine Puller ink. I love the kind of more opaque print that you get when you add some white acrylic paint to your gel press. Just gorgeous. Okay, now let's get this stencil out. Uh, stencils on gel presses are kind of amazing. I love this, how this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop the stencil right down on the gel press. Now, when I remove the stencil, it is gonna remove like some of the ink and some of the white um, acrylic paint, but that's okay. The whole point of this process is to be messy and for things not to be perfect. Just go into it knowing that and you'll be fine. Now this is Cranberry Fizz Ink. This is one of the newer Catherine Pooler colors. It's gorgeous. It's like that red you never even knew you always wanted to have in your stash. Like it's deep and dark and gorgeous. And so this is going to allow that stenciled area to really pop off of our page. You're going to be able to see it. And I know that it's hard to tell because of the way the gel press is all clear and I'm working on my mixed media map, but trust me, so pretty. Now we are going to kind of take that bright stenciled area and I'm gonna tone it down a little bit. And the way I'm gonna do that is because I'm gonna add more color. So I have, see, I found the mini mister. So now I'm just adding some of the Coral Cabana. I'm adding some droplets of water using my fan brush. And this is gonna react with all those other pieces that we have on our print. Then I'm gonna take some of that ink and I'm gonna run it over the gel press. This is That's going to smooth out the stencil. So our stencil, if you want your stencil to be very, very there, so to speak, then you don't want to touch it. You want to pull your print now. But if you want just a little bit of, of extra, like a little bit of something different, you want to tone that down. You don't, you want a pattern, not so much a full on design. Go ahead and brayer with another color ink over. I do this. I, I don't care that the back of my paper gets <laughs> more color on it. And I'll be honest, occasionally there have been times where I've pulled the print and been like, but I like the B side better. <laughs> so just know that that's totally an option. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this up, kind of clean up my area just a little bit, give this a really nice brayer, and then let it sit just a couple seconds to really let that ink kind of soak in. And here we go. So you see what I mean? By having that white acrylic paint, you get this soft look. You can still see the stencil, but then because we added some ink on top of it, it's not really bright and bold. Now, I'm gonna spritz my gel press with some alcohol. I'm gonna spritz my stencil with some rubbing alcohol, and that's just gonna help me to clean up some of the color. So your gel press doesn't need a lot of cleanup, but that stencil will be will need cleanup in between uses. And so my way of cleaning up my stencil is to spritz a little bit of that isopropyl alcohol onto the stencil and wipe it up with paper towel. And all that ink just falls right off it. Super quick and easy. And then because it's alcohol, it dries like a snap. Boom, dried, done, ready for our next use. The next print we're gonna pull, we're actually gonna start with our stencil. So this will be a little more abstract because we're gonna start with the stencil, then we're gonna layer stuff over. Again, 
I just love the cranberry fizz through the stencil. So pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and roll a nice layer of the cranberry fizz ink over the stencil. I've sped up the rest of these just for time and because I feel like uh, you guys got this. You know what you're doing. This is like easiness. Easiness, I tell you. Scrub paper. Get the extra ink off. Grab that Coral Cabana ink now. And we're going to put a nice even coat of that ink right over our stenciled image. This just kind of blurs the stenciled image just a little tiny bit. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to smush the Coral Cabana ink onto our mixed media mat. Add the water again. This time I have acquired my mini mister. Don't ask. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and grab some of that, get that a little bit watery, and then use your fan brush. Fan brushes are like the scrapbooker's best friend. I'm telling you what, they make the most perfect splatters. Again, let your paper rest on the gel press for a couple minutes to let that ink soak up good into your paper. Give it a nice brayer on the other side to grab some nice pressure, pull it off, and gorgeousness. And you'll notice that that white acrylic paint that I put in on the very beginning is still on my gel press just a little bit. Even though I did kind of wipe it a little bit, it didn't take up all of the ink that's on the gel press. So we're still getting some of that gorgeous um, kind of whitewashed effect that I love. One more. This third print that I pulled was my favorite. I loved this third one so much that I ended up making, um, instead of making like an A2 card, I made a square card so I could use as much of this as possible because it's so pretty. All right, so I've put orange through the stencil. Now I'm taking it and I'm splattering with that fan brush right over the stencil. Pull it up and just put this down. Why? Why did this work? Because I had all that cranberry fizz ink on the other side of the stencil. So I took the stencil, flipped it over onto the gel press, put the orange ink through the gel press, through this stencil, and now I can just brayer it, let it sit for a minute. Look at this. Ah! It turned out so good. I love it. Okay. So now I'm going to clean everything up, including the stencil, and we are going to go ahead and grab uh, all those greens and blues and make at least one print with the greens and blues. So we're not going to use the stencil on the gel press to, for this one. Um, I did use the stencil when I created the finished card, but I didn't use the stencil when I pulled this print. So we're starting with It's a Boy ink, which is this gorgeous blue. Um, and she just refreshed this color, so it's not called It's a Boy anymore. But I will um, link up of all the, I'll send just all of the links. They should all be in the description box. So let's do a stripey piece. We're going to do It's a Boy ink. Then we're going in with Lime Ricky. Again, Brayer, roll, <laughs> roll the ink color on, and then use scrap paper. Do not waste that ink. It's such good stuff. Okay, next up is grass skirt. This is really green and gorgeous and bold color. It's kind of like that cranberry fizz. It's going to add that pop. So now we have this like striped look, right? So I did a middle section with It's a Boy. We did a... Left section was lime rinky, lime ricky. The right, the right section with grass skirt. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna re-ink up the middle section because then all the colors can play together nice and it will give you like some nice gradient. So I'm just doing the middle section so everything can kind of play together. Splatter with my fan brush. This is just water. Just water on this splatter. No color at all. 
Let that sit again, just to let everything play nice together. A little bit of brayer action, soft pressure, and so that all the gorgeous color can soak into our paper and give us an amazing print. And look at that. So gorgeous, right? Okay, so here are all the prints I made. And then I took these four prints and all those other products that I showed you at the beginning of this video. And I made four cards. Here are photos of all four of these cards. You can also find photos of these cards on my social media. You, um, I kept every card really simple. I let those prints shine. I just added little details like sequins and things and some embossing. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you all again for Technique Tuesday. Bye.